Hello, YouTube. I just got this in the mail straight from China. I bought this on eBay uh, back in uh, about mid-June, and it finally arrived today. It's this key cool uh, numeric keypad, and I got this for the reason that you'll see in the future. I'm getting another um, Cherry Switch keyboard, and it's a 10 keyless, so this is to go along with that because I couldn't get the type of switch I wanted in any other uh, configuration with a uh, uh, with, with a full keyboard. So I got this straight from China because it's exactly it just fits the bill perfectly. It is a key cool USB numeric keypad. It's a Chinese product, I think. Special designed for eSport gamer, peripherals game player, and financial professionals. <laughs> There you have it. It's a 22 key. Not much to say about it over there. There's the website, www.kc-keycool.com. And here's the back. Yeah. <laughs> I'd read you this, but I can't. Oh, here's some gold. Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Yes, yes, Windows 7. Just just the one window. <laughs> so, let's take a look at this. Now, these keypads, these types of separate keypads, I've seen these dating back to the 80s. I saw uh, the, the Macintosh 512Ks. Some of them came with these, or you could get them as an accessory or, some, or, or uh, something like that. So, they've been around for a while. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Here's the manual, which is all in Chinese, so I cannot read that. There you have it. They give you a key puller, which is nice. And here's the keypad itself. So let me pull this out here. It's a USB one, so there you have it. So let me get out of this bubble wrap here, and we'll take a look at it. Wow, it feels good. It feels good in the hand. This is a Keycool K1 mechanical keyboard. Yeah, it's not really a keyboard. It's just a keypad. Let's see how the keys feel. Yeah, those are genuine Jerry switches, that's for sure. But this is this is the layout of it. You have escape up here. Tab for whatever reason. I think that's return. You get a function key, and of course on this side of the keys you get, I guess if you use the function key, you get things like the sound, you get volume controls, you get backwards and forwards for music, play button. So it, it that's the reason I got this particular one. It integrates a lot of features into one little uh, device, and it was cheaper than the rest. So that's a win-win for me. But I wanted this mostly for the number pad, so. This is actually very, very solid build quality. And the keys feel good. Uh, although the enter key feels kind of strange. Although they they all feel pretty good, so generally happy about that. They feel nice. The other reason I got this keyboard is it has USB hubs in the side. So when you plug this into your USB port, you're not wasting a port. You get them in both sides. So you could plug something like a mouse in there, which is which is what I plan to do actually. I plan to plug this in and plug my mouse into it. So, there you have it. This is the Keycool K1 numeric keypad. Seems to be a pretty good uh, number pad. Uh, pretty pretty nice build quality. It feels very much the same as those uh, as the Philco Magis Touch and the Rosewill RK9000 keyboards. It feels a lot like that, except this actually feels a little bit more solid in some ways than those do. So. This is going to go in combination with a Cooler Master uh, keyboard that I'll be getting in the future. It's on back order, so I don't know when you guys will see it. Probably in August or September is when that will get here. So Th That's what this is going to be a companion to, and you'll see how that works once it gets here. So I just thought I'd... Uh yeah, I thought I'd let you know about these. If you're, if, you, if you're looking for a numeric keypad with cherry switches, these, are, these seem to be pretty good. Uh, they have excellent features. Uh, I don't know if it works yet, but... I'd assume it would, so...
there you have it. Well, pl let's plug it in and try it out then. All right, I have my Windows 8.1 test test machine. Uh, I have my Windows 8.1 test install on this on this computer. So let's plug the USB in and see if it works. Plug it into the top here. Yep, there it goes down at the bottom. Do we get a light yet? Oh, that's a numlock light. Okay, so the light on the top of the keyboard is your numlock light. And it's and it, it's not independent. You can see on the uh, keyboard next to me when I hit that, it turns it on on the other keyboard as well. So let's open up calculator. Whoops! Help if I spell calculator right. All right. So here we have the calculator, and uh, let's try using this to do a few math problems. Focus, you idiot. Ah, oh, turn numlock on. Yep, works just fine. Nice. So let's see what function does. Will function Will this function key actually control? Whoa! This thing changes color. That's awesome. Whoa! That's kind of cool. Yeah, the uh, numlock light actually changes color randomly. It's kind of neat. <laughs> but yes, this thing it works just fine. Now my question is, will the function keys actually do what they're supposed to do? And that is, uh, here's a better view of the keypad itself, some light. But that is to do what all these functions here say, and that's uh, control the volume. There's an, I think there's an Internet Explorer button and a My Computer button and stuff like that. And, of course, your music controls. Let's see if volume works. It does. Yep. Works just fine. What about the IE button? Yep, it works. IE button works just fine. So this this key cool keypad actually gives you some pretty nice functionality. It gives you a few shortcut buttons. If you have a 10 keyless keyboard, it gives you a separate number pad that you can actually physically move around instead of having it attached to the keyboard like on a like it would on this Dell AT101 for example. Um, this is going to be an excellent companion to the Cooler Master keyboard I got. Uh, I just wish that I could have gotten one of these with the same switches in it, but you know, whatever. Uh, I'll take what I can get. Maybe I'll be able to get switches later on. Uh, and that's the nice part about Cherry Switches. You can change out the switches if you want. This this key cool comes with blue switches. Uh, cherry blue switches. Uh, the keyboard I ordered is going to have cherry green switches. So it's going to be a little bit of a dis discrepancy there, but uh, maybe once they start putting more green switches and more keyboards, uh, uh, I'll be able to put green switches in this. So you never know. Uh, and that is the reason why the, the keyboard that's the companion to this is taking so long to ship because it's a cherry green switch keyboard and they're in high demand right now. So that is a little demonstration of uh, this particular key cool uh, numeric keypad. These you'd, you'd think these would be expensive, um, and they are. They're like I think I paid thirty five, forty five dollars for this. Forty five, I believe it was. So. They're not cheap, but they offer uh, they offer very nice typing feel, uh, and they offer short they offer shortcut buttons. They offer a USB USB hub on both sides. Uh, the features are great, and the feel of the keyboard is fine. You know, it just feels like any other Cherry Switch keyboard. Uh, so, there you have it. The, that is the Key Cool K1. You can find these on eBay. Uh, directly from China, they will take about three weeks to get to you. At least it did for me. So expect that to happen. So there you have it. They did follow through, as you can see. I got mine. So there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.